Hello there guys and gals, the Welsh Hunter here and I am back as always with the 100% achievement guide and this time we are getting it all in the awesome Planet Alpha which as of right now until the 31st of July is free with games with gold so download the balls off the thing even if you just play it later on. Now this was developed by Planet Alpha, published by Team17 Software and is usually available for $15.99 but as I mentioned is free on games with gold right now. So we play as a alien hybrid crossed with a human. Maybe a lot of weird alien human gangbang related stuff went on that we all missed out on. Hmm. Damn. I mean, um, anyways, we play as, well, I mean, let's call him Al, which is kind of alien for short or short for alpha. Whichever way you look at it. Uh, basically, we end up crashing on, you guessed it, Planet Alpha. A beautiful looking world with stunning creatures and visuals and a ton crap more that wanna kill ya. So for the majority of the game we will be moving to the right, stealthily moving our way past enemies until we basically get to the other side, uh, more or less. Achievements wise it's very easy enough, for the most part we have to go off the beaten path to find what, they, they kind of look like flying flowers-ish, and that unlocks us those achievements, now there are a lot of them, so just follow along lovely, uh, plus there are just 4 collectibles in the game which are easily located and timestamps will be below. So you're potentially looking at around 6 to 8 hours to finish this, maybe more, maybe less depending on how much you do or don't die, and so, with that being said, looks like we've already begun. So you press new game, there's no dialogue or anything in this, it is literally just atmospherically beautiful. And, you know, you, you do either got a huge dong that you can't carry around too long, or he's been injured in the crash. My guess is probably both, because, you know, that that's, uh, that's tricky to walk with. Uh, but anyway, just keep walking to the right for now. The controls are obvious, it's always usually the left stick to move. When we get into it, it'll be the A button to jump, uh, X to interact with things in the world as well. And that's pretty much about it. Uh, our guy um, basically jogs. You can walk. You know, or you can try to avoid... <laughs> I don't think you can avoid that bit, actually. Um, I thought I died already then, and piss me off, Ev. But anyway, when we do actually get into it, our guy mainly just runs. Uh, you can walk by pressing the left bumper if you want to, if you want to take things a bit slower. But, you know, yeah, what's the point? You might as well run to the end, because we've, we've got a couple of hours of pure joy to get through first. So take it all in then. Oh, what a beautiful planet. I'll just wait for you here for help, right? That's what they always say. Wait there for help, otherwise, you know, you'll get run over on the side of the road or something. Or is that, that's just smart motorways, that. Yeah, smart wo smart motorways suck. Or so I, or what I've learned, anyway. But this looks a lot different than a smart motorway. This looks like a kind of, um, posher Blackpool. Or <laughs> somewhere. I don't know, I just, just, I'm just making it up as I go along now. But, anyway, keep walking to the right for now. It does end eventually, <laughs> this part, and then we can get into the game proper. Now, if this was a Jitalon game right now, this would basically be the end. They, you'd get literally 4,000 gamer points, or 4,000 gamer score just from walking to the end with a broken leg, probably jumping once, probably looking at the screen once as well, and that would be about 600 gamer score each. Luckily for us, though, this isn't a Jitalon game, and we actually have to put in some effort to um, unlock every single achievement, which, I tell you what, for those who don't like making effort, well... I'm very sorry, but it'll be fine. It's still good. It's still a very good game. So, as you can see there, you press the X button to crawl under things. This obviously is just a tutorial. I mean, look at that. you got flying flowers. you got little, look like cowardice in the background. you got a giraffe with balls hanging off his head. It's just it's lovely. It is lovely. Nice little waterfalls as well. Just fantastic. So, obviously, it is the A button to jump. 
Um, nothing, nothing really special with the controls at all there. Um, a lot of the time we'll be doing a lot of jumping and climbing up the side of um, buildings with the, uh, as long as you see the flowers and everything there, you can jump on. That is a big rhino. I'm fully expecting Jim Carrey to pop out of his ass there, to be honest. If anyone's seen Ace Ven the second Ace Ventura film, of course. <laughs> so, this is all we're doing then. So, these big blocks, you'll see a lot of these through the game, and these are the only ones that you can move, with a sort of diamond shape on them. Or square, if you tilt your head slightly. Uh, again, press X, go left or right, whichever direction you need. And then let go of X, and then we should be good to go. So just keep, you can press the A button uh, to continue jumping up. Al is pretty good at jumping up on the side of flowers, even though he's on a planet he's never been before. Personally, I'd be crapping my pants, especially when you see cowardice in the background there, but there we go. So just make sure to jump, this will happen. Wait, 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 and then jump to the right. Again, we'll be doing a lot of sliding down things and a lot of uh, timing in this game as well um so just as we keep running to the right you will die a lot and it will be cheap deaths and it will be annoying deaths but luckily the checkpoint system is pretty fantastic in this game where you only go back the slightest bit or even in some cases you actually end up moving forward a little bit as well which you will see me do a couple of times normally f in videos like this i won't i let it out the deaths um but i died quite i did die quite a lot through this game but again, you actually move forward a little bit as well, which comes in extreme handy. So when we get on these, then if you press the right or left trigger, you can actually change the day. You can actually change the day and night. So if you need night, you can go to night. If you need day, you can go to day. Now, there are a reason for that. As you can see, I'm just holding the right trigger, and that is getting the pillar that was in the way, and that is now down. Now, later on through the game, only certain animals, uh, creatures... Ooh, big sperm whale gonna come and sperm in us or something. I don't think there's a sperm whale in this game. Well, we'll see anyway. But like I was saying, later on you will need it to sometimes be night. You will also need it sometimes be day because only certain flowers come out at night and day, etc, etc. But again, we'll get that far when we get to it. So as you can see there, jump up onto the right and grab this small block. Again, only the ones with the, with the uh, diamond or the head tilted squares are the ones you can move. Just press, press the, the opposite direction if you want to jump off of something. But make sure that Al is actually looking the other side first. If you just jump off, you'll jump straight down and you will die. Try not to jump off the edge there. I did. <laughs> you'll see a lot of these little edit skips which were just stupid deaths. Uh, but just keep jumping to the right for now. These enemies won't hurt you. This is, again, like I said, just basically a tutorial bit. Um, crawl underneath this rock right. Meow. And then stick your claws on the flowery wall of yum-yums. And get yourself up. Oh, excuse me. Not COVID-related, honest. Not drug-related either, that sniff. So just ignore all that. So we're going to be dragging some incredible strength uh, from Al, by the way, who seems to have literally about three-inch arms. Which is still bigger than mine, even though I work out. <laughs> so sad. It's a sad, sad situation where Al is massive. So we need to, to break the way there. And there is a reason for that. Don't put this one all the way down. Put it very slightly to the side. Uh, so we can break. Basically, we're going up. We're not going down. We're going up. Sadly, we're not going down this time. <laughs> wink, wink. Um, no, just joking. But as soon as you can, we're going to head up and then keep on falling to the right. Don't fall too far. Because uh, you might actually just have missed the jump. Now things are going to break, so just keep running to the right. And then hold on for the moment. Don't jump anywhere. And now jump. So it's just little things like that. It is a good game, but things like that will catch you out. Where you think you can jump, and then it's like... Ah, don't be a dickhead, I caught you out mid. And then you die. Like I said, checkpoints in this game are pretty fantastic, to be honest. So all is well with that. So head over to this sort of platform. Now, basically, this is there's not that many puzzles in the game. There's only a small couple of puzzles, and this be the first one. What we need to basically do is get the ball on the bottom 
to basically be in front of the gold ball, sort of facing you. So it needs to be sort of halfway. So you need to get it up halfway and then sort of spin it round so the blue ball is facing us. And then as long as you've got it right, it'll automatically shoot up into the air. Well, it'll shoot up and then we can carry on moving to the right. For some reason, it took me about a minute to figure this one out. But I thought I'd tell you anyway. See, I told you we'd make it eventually. I could have probably done that a little bit quicker, but, you know, it's. I thought I'd just explain it a little more. I've been criticised for going too fast in the puzzle, so this time I'm helping you guys out a bit. If, well, you know, if I can. Anyway, this is just a small cutscene. It's all beautiful. It's all pretty. Uh, basically, we're just going to wait for this to end, and then we can head on to the right. Everything just sort of moves. But I suppose if um, Al from the Gangbang Nebula... Hmm, what a nebula. That's my kind of nebula. Maybe if he's got his GoPro on, then he can make a million bucks selling his story on this one. Or, a, 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 you know, a million fluglarks or whatever the hell money is in the gangbang nebula. I don't know. I've never been there, but I'd like to go. Okay, so us thinking, you know, just messing around, having a little go, pushing some buttons, basically what that's done is crash landed some robots for us to try and avoid. Now, of course, we don't have a gun, we haven't got anything to uh, enable to kill them, we've just got to use the environment when it's available. So, you'll be using the crouch button, which of course is X, remember? You'll be using that a lot. So, crouch through the grass, for some reason robots can't see your big fat alien head and the grass moving. Um, you can try and get through quicker, but literally you die within one or two shots. But you can, like I said, like you just seen, you can stand up and crouch down, uh, basically as a distraction as well, which means robots are hilariously stupid, which is fine by me. So as you can see here, then I leave this death in because basically it, it puts me down to the uh, ledge, which is just below. So that is what happens quite a lot through this game. You can die. Press A to jump, of course, just so you don't die. And we've got uh, Lapras from the Pokemon series on Planet Alpha. What's up? Um, so, yeah. So when you die sometimes, it, die, it can actually come in your advantageous. Watch out for the robot here then. Just wait until he turns around. That is basically it for the majority of the game. A lot of these enemies just have uh, patterns. Sometimes you've got to wait. Sometimes you've got to distract them. But it is easy enough after a couple of attempts anyway. Like I said, as soon as you crouch, they even forget you're there. So that, that is very Metal Gear Solid 1 and the very early Metal Gear Solid series kind of uh, enemy AI there. A AI even, but we'll take that. So you keep leaping across, we're going to head up. That's a nice, that's an impressive looking ship. Wow, somebody's got wiener problems. Oh, jump. And we're going to jump again in just a minute. So basically, this is our main enemy through the game, who for some reason wants to keep killing us, even though we've done nothing wrong. Jump again, and that should be that. Now we can start climbing down. Again, don't just don't jump straight down, because you will die immediately. The checkpoint means you'll be pretty golden, but, you know, if, if you save yourself about three seconds, if you so wish. Crawl under this rock. Go back and crawl back under the rock you came from. It's a very well-known phrase, which I hear all too often. Hmm. hmm. Maybe I'm the problem then. God damn it. Anyway, keep climbing up. Try not to get distracted by the... Honestly, it's just a beautiful game. Absolutely beautiful game. But when there's enemies about, honey, oh, we gotta go. We need that thousand Gs, yo. So just very carefully climb down these flowers then. It's so easy to just jump off. I did quite a lot through the game. Just jump off and die completely. Um, so obviously when you're coming up to any ledges, just take your time and just be careful. Now head up onto this sort of mushroom there and head up onto the cliff. Head up onto the next... We're going to call it mushrooms. It might not be, but I'm going to call it mushrooms. Jump up onto the flower, onto these magic mushrooms. God, no wonder everything looks so... Maybe we're just high. That's the problem. Jump across, 
And then what we could do is just jump down this time. So f little heights like that are not too bad, but the majority of cliffs in this game are just crap and we'll die. So what we need to do then, we need to quickly jump off here. And then as soon as the robot sees us, move immediately to the left and then jump back onto that same log that we were just on. If you can do it. And then what he's going to do is go, hey, where did that sound bitch go? And then we can just move on very swiftly, very nicely. There's a jellyfish there. I, I assume it's a jellyfish. I don't know. Maybe we have just taken a lot of acid and a lot of magic mushrooms. And this is all just in our minds. This is a good trick, by the way. I, I mean, I don't condone taking any drugs whatsoever. Just don't do it. Anyway, jump down. You can just crouch. Um, if you're feeling a bit paranoid, you can just crouch all the way. But you can sort of crouch, run, crouch, run. Since <laughs> he gets confused as to where you go, apparently, when you crouch. So with this next log then, that is in the river, grab it to the left. This is where we're going to be getting our first achievement, actually. So grab it to, to the left, and then leave it around here, just so you can jump straight up. And then that gets rid of this flower. Beautiful, really gorgeous looking thing, but that is what gets us our first achievement. Now, like I said, a lot of these achievements are missable. You can play through chapter selected. <coughs> Excuse me, you can go through chapter select if you want, but of course it's always better to just get every achievement out of the way. So when we've done that, we can drag our log with our incredible Eddie Hall strength um, and just jump up onto the... I don't even think you needed it, but, you know, just in case. It's always a just in case with this game. So head on down. Now, as soon as you jump down, we're going to see a block and enemies are going to appear. So, so keep moving this block right here. Wait for that robot to just walk past. He's going to continue walking past. Obviously, if you get too close, he's going to shoot you. So just crouch in the grass. You'll have to actually press the X button again to get off the block and crouch into the grass. But as long as he's there and you actually move up fast enough, <laughs> as you can see, I just about almost didn't balls that up there. So go me. Hopefully you, you uh, jumped a lot better than I did up there. Now these things, um, basically this is what should have been in the Grey Skies A War of the World story game. Th these are uh, weird looking machines. But you must avoid those at all costs. All those beams, they can one shot you to death. Obviously it's not going to be a tick up the bum, is it? Otherwise I think we'd all enjoy that a bit more. So watch out for that robot there. He may be, like I said, it could be a bit random in terms of where they are for you. They might be walking towards you. They might be walking away from you. So just watch out for said enemies. So just wait until that robot moves to the right there. Again, we almost just made that. Before we jump down. Now, this this one has a, again, a specific pattern and a specific, um, uh, just a specific pattern that he uh, does and goes through. But if he sees that block moving, baby, you dead. Oh, you dead as hell, man. So just wait. Wait until he looks to the left. He's going to start walking back as well. But the lasers are going to follow where we are. Now, be careful here because he looks forward and then he looks back. As you can see, uh, the amount of times I balls that bit up as well was just fantastic. So just keep, keep inching ever closer. Basically, then he's going to start moving to the left, and as soon as he does that, then we are golden nuggets to go. So just move it all the way up as close as you can to the cliff, jump up, and Bob's your uncle and Fanny's your aunt. I don't know why that is an expression, but <laughs> it is. So we'll take it. So for this next bit, all we're going to keep doing then is just running to the right. We're going to be shot at. There's going to be a whole bunch of enemies coming down, but you just keep on sprinting, crouching where applicable, and jumping where you need to as well all of this just because you touch some guy's dirty hologram of the earth which is pretty pervish if you ask me don't be looking out of my earth bro So 
So now we are on to the next sort of small section of the game. Now those flowers which can crawl down have been replaced by giant... I don't know, they kind of look like giant spider egg sacs or something. Um, so what we now need to do, we need to jump up here. Don't worry about this spider and its big old egg. Um, but this is how we get up things now. It's still got the diamond shape on it, so you are aware of what you can and can't move. Um, but basically it looks like... A pretty rotten egg, like a spider's just going to come out with one of your boiled eggs, crawl down your throat, and leave you scarred for life. And I really, I said that on purpose just to, you know, just to mess with you. <laughs> but I'm so sorry. No spider's going to come out with your boiled eggs, don't worry about that. So, keep sliding down, we're going to jump. And then we're going to crouch. Now, these enemies are dicks. See what I mean? Do you see what I mean? These enemies are goddamn buttholes and they can one-shot you. So you need to immediately, as soon as one of these flying wieners spot you, you just need to crouch and then run as fast as you can. But these actually, these are not like robots. They're not that stupid. They're still relatively stupid, but not as stupid as the robots. So they will actually fly after you since they have wings and a brain. So just keep that in mind, that's all. Otherwise, we can happily just jump down and keep sliding down here. Deliciousness. There we go. And again, it'll be random where these enemies are for you. They won't... They'll either be flying towards you or away from you. So, you know, just be aware. That's all of where the enemies are. So get rid of this giant egg there. And that'll enable us to move up the log. And get us up onto the right-hand side here. Hmm. Imagine if all these eggs just cracked right now and devoured me whole. <laughs> Not that good. That is not good. That's not good, yeah? So, climb up onto the right. And <laughs> this is what I meant by earlier. You need to wait You need to wait for Al to look the opposite direction before jumping. And then this will happen. Now, again, one of these enemies shoot me here. Dead! And again, the reason I'm keeping this in is because if you die, if you've done something already, and then you die, that action is still done. So I don't need to do that again. I'll just wait for... Dingleberry head here to bugger off. He's going to fly away from you. So as soon as he starts doing that, as you can see, the egg which I just got from the top is now at the bottom still. So you can just drag that to the left-hand side. I was just being extra paranoid here because since we're still on that acid trip apparently and we've gone to a nice place called Planet Alpha, you know, didn't want to take the piss too much. But he should be good. As long as he's flown away from you, he should be good. So climb up, keep climbing up, look to the right here and then jump off. Noise, Making it delicious so if you're gonna crap yourself thinking you're gonna have to go up against this thing Luckily, we're not, but we are going to be distracting some robots here. Somehow, they've gotten underneath wherever we are. So, head to the right. As soon as the robot spots you, keep heading to the left. Obviously, he doesn't have that good a sight. Thank God for that. But what he will do is come into the water. <laughs> robots can't come, I don't think. And then we're going to get our spider friend right here. As long as you're not in the water too, you know, you won't die. Uh, so obviously just make sure that you're in between the flowery egg deliciousness is right there. So with that robot destroyed, now we can just continue on to the right for now. And when we get here, make sure to jump up. There is a boiled egg for us to uh, drag down. So just make sure to grab that. I wouldn't eat it because that will be giving you uh, Futurama fry style worms. Where they try and take over your body and make you smarter and stronger. Although that is not necessarily a bad thing. So that will get shot and then the spider will distract. Uh, <laughs> will kill him. That is always nice. Of course, just move to the left there slightly so you don't get killed as well. And then we will just jump down because we get shot at again. Oh, what have we done? We didn't mean to crash land here. We, uh, my ship just crashed, bruh. Jump down. 
And we're just going to continue keeping running on to the right for now. Like I said, a whole lot of stuff's going to happen in the background, but you just keep focusing on you and your little spec self and get yourself out, out of there. Make sure to jump right here, grab the um, flowery eggnesses. And what you're supposed to do, and this is another example of make sure that Al is looking the opposite direction before you jump, otherwise you just end up flying straight down. Now obviously not every death I've kept into it, um, but I've kept only the deaths that I feel warrant an explanation, or whether I've shown an advantage or something. Uh, they're the only deaths that I've kept in, and I did die quite a bit in this game, so don't get annoyed. Just, you know, be glad that it happened, or something. Anyway, here we go, we're going to keep walking down. Now we're going to see a weird bit of robot army. Though again, this is exactly what it should have been on the world, uh, the War of the Worlds game, the Grey Skies. This is, this is how it should have been, robot armies and stuff. So wait for Sauron's new evolution there to just fly past. As soon as he's gone past, then we can jump up. Be careful, there is a gap right here, so you need to jump. And just wait until Sauron the second goes past there. And then we can fly up and happy days, just continue moving on to the right. Uh, th this is basically what we're doing by the way, is just moving to the right, so... If you're a guy or a girl who only moves to the left in video games, then maybe this isn't the game for you. <laughs> Now we are coming up to our second missable achievement, so from here just jump directly to the right there um, and sort of go down a little bit. Don't go all the way down to the ground though, so what you need to do is go about halfway just underneath these trees, you can see that sort of light up jellyfish. Make sure that we are onto that ledge and then just continue on to the right and then basically we go, what we're going to do is find one of those flowers. Um, which unlocks us our achievement. Now, if you'd have just gone all the way to the bottom and carried on, you would have had to have distracted three robots to get past, when it's just easy to go to the right, jump over this dinosaur head, there we go, unlock us the second missable achievement, and then jump on this dinosaur head a few times to kill them. Um, which is probably the way you're supposed to do it in the game anyway, but, well, there may be, there may, you probably can get past the robot if you wanted to, not get the achievement, but then what's the point of an achievement guide if you just went that way? So, let us move on. So what you need to do with this bit, move it over to the right ever so slightly, get to the other side. Why did the, why did the alien gangbang human hybrid move the stick so it could get to the other side? Heh heh heh. I so funny. So move the stick, or this big log, sorry, just enough so you're able to jump on said, the old mushroom right there. And then what we'll be doing then for about a minute or so is just continuously moving to the right until we reach another bunch of enemies. Ignore the old uh, pink tickle stick, or <laughs> kind of what looks like right there, the old gooch tickler. careful here there is a robot I end up more or less just running straight through but uh, he might be somewhere else so you can either just crouch your way through or you know get shot at like I just did right there uh -huh, we still got you and there is a another one of these gangly legged bastards to get past so as soon as he looks the opposite direction that you are you should be golden nuggets to just run on through and then what you need to do then, press the right or left trigger, and then we need to change this into night. And then what that'll do is obviously sprout up a few things, uh, sprout up the flowers so that we can actually hide behind them. Now this bit may take a couple of tries. It did for me, um, purely just because you've got to get the, the hiding behind the plant, you've got to get it just right. So you have to wait until the robot starts walking away, but... You have to wait until, of course, all the lasers, if any of those lasers catch you, you're dead, basically. So it can be uh, it can be a waiting game, and it can be that the timing you've got to get quite right, 
Uh, it's not too bad when you're there, so wait until the robot is down the bottom of the screen. Then hide behind the plant. Now, as soon as he starts to see you and starts to shoot at you, you can run. Again, the timing may be a bit tricky for you, but as long as the other big, massive, gangly leg dick is looking the other way, then you should be okay. But again, cheap deaths. I had about three or four cheap deaths there where I thought I got away with it. it turns out I didn't. But wait until the robot's at the bottom of the screen, then hide behind the plant. Then hopefully you should be good to go. But again, that one may take you more than a few, uh, just a couple of tries. Otherwise, it's our normal fan fun fest of running to the right. And we are actually coming up to achievement, missable achievement number three now. So as we get onto these mushrooms, instead of going to the right here, what you need to do is jump down and go to the left. Jump down here and then jump to the left once again. You can just, probably just about see it in the background there. Soon as you do that, that is missable achievement number three. There we go. So then we can just head back up and continue on. So this is what I mean. A lot of these missable achievements and collectibles, they are... They're not on the obvious path. You do, ha and it's so easy to just skip past them. But that's why I'm here, because God damn, I love you guys. Oh God damn it! So this is a very easy puzzle. Just stand in the middle of here, pressing the right or left trigger until you see two or three stars, and you know you'll have it right when, as you can see, a white, uh, white circle goes around, and it basically completes it for us. So wait until you see two stars now. And then just get them in the middle, that'll complete that, and then that's good to go, then we can just move on. So, luckily they're nice and simple pimple for us. Even I got it without any help. <laughs> I'm a good boy. I, I am so smart. S-M-R-T. I mean S-M-A-R-T. So, we're heading to the left now, and we're going in to... you got to press the X button, by the way, to get into... Wherever the hell we are now, but one major difference you will note, if you press and hold the A button, you can actually jump a massive leap. We are basically into Planet Alpha's weird extra Planet Alpha. You know what I mean. But, basically, th this isn't too bad. This is mainly just a platforming section. No enemies or anything in these sections. It's literally just a case of um, getting to the end, waiting for the rocks to fall in the correct place. And you will get used to these ones quickly as well. So as you can see, you've actually got to go along with it. So wherever it's going, if it starts to fall to the right, you've got to just walk along with it. Um, if you just try and jump everywhere, now you can get away with it because it's the first one. It's quite easy. Uh, but a bit later on, you won't be able to do that. You'll have to walk and be pretty good at it. Well, you don't have to be that good. It's easy enough. Um, but, like I said, a lot of the times as well, you can actually get a good bit of motivation and get one big jump. And then that'll be that. So this is where the this is actually the first collectible in the game. Um, and they, they, these are what the collectibles are then. You've got to do these small, tiny, extra levels, whatever the hell they are. And, like I said, there's only four of them in the game. But they are fairly easily located, but they are fairly easy enough to do anyway. So, that is... That, then we can just keep on moving to the right, uh, grab the diamond block, and then just carry on going. Jump, Johnny, jump, bear! So, after a bit of hopping, skipping, jumping and climbing, we are pretty knackered. You think we need a break, but Al is massive. He is the Tom Stoltman of the Planet Alpha world. World's strongest Al. Alien-human gangbang hybrid. So as soon as you drop that rock down, jump to the left. Um, and then we can get the block that we used earlier to climb up. Then we can just drag that all the way to the right. And now we should be able to move on.
So just keep pushing it into the other rocker course right there. And basically what that'll do is point up just a little bit, but that'll give us just enough uh, momentum there to make us jump up and catch on. And we are golden nuggets to go again. Now, I keep saying golden nuggets, I just think it's hilarious. So keep on going, we're going to jump up. So should we do a little bit of singing? What you need to do, jump on this rock three, two or three times. Boop. And then everybody go surfing. Surfing planet Alpha. Destroying robots on the way on this weird alien type planet. My name is Al. I don't like to jump. Jump. Okay, there we go. So we are good to go as long as you jumped up, caught the flowers. <laughs> Uh, that uh, atrocious singing is over, and that is that, thank God. Don't jump down here. What you need to do is very carefully climb down the flowers, because if you jump, you're dying, boy. So what we need to do here then, go on this little drawing or whatever the hell that is, using the left or right trigger. Now, what you need to do is get this stone pillar and path all the way down, but be careful. If you don't have it directly in the path, you can actually just jump, Walk and then fall down if it's not in connection with the uh, other path. So just be careful there. I died twice doing that. And you'll see I almost done it again as well. Whip. Almost messed that one up. <laughs> and when we get to the other side of here, do not jump like I just did. Instead, we are going to be climbing our way down. Now, remember what I said earlier? <laughs> I almost done the exact same thing as well there. Remember what I said earlier? Any cliffs, just take your time with it. No need to rush. Buddy, we've got plenty of time. Unless you're a, a complete huge Jitlon fan and you want to complete all those 10,000 million uh, gamer score games just by jumping once. Um, anyway, enough Jitlon bashing here, sorry. <laughs> We're just going to keep on moving to the right now. Now, there is going to be a type of boss, if you want to call it that. Basically, bigger, bigger enemies that want to kill you. Um, he is going to appear and he's basically... Is in this room. As soon as he appears, then we are going to need to be walking out to the other side. So move this block uh, all the way to the right as much as he can, and then just head straight on through again. He is going to appear, and then we need to immediately move to the left. So as soon as he appears, now there he is. Just move directly to the left very quickly. He's like a snake, but he kind of looks like a stapler. So we're going to call him the snakeler. The snapler. Now we're calling the Snapler. Anyway, you should be good now just to go. What we need him to do is bite that bit off. There you go. Snapler's got that for us. So now we can actually use it to move to the left. Um, again, uh, this is going to be another platforming section with the with the basically boss right here. All we need to do is just avoid his Snapler attacks. So then, what we'll have to be doing, we are actually coming up to another missable achievement, but we actually have to avoid the Snapler's attacks as well. Again, just like every other boss in this game, he's got a sort of set pattern, um, but obviously we just need to get through it quickly. So, just keep jumping up this uh, vine right here. Just keep jumping, climbing, jumping, jumping all the way. Until we get up, then we can just jump up over to the other side now. Uh, just keep jumping up here because you actually need to get up a couple of these rocks. Um, but we need to be careful. Um, stop here because his <laughs> he does attack with his snapler fist or snapler mouth or whatever. So we need to wait until he goes and then quickly head to the left, jump back up. And then we need to quickly climb to the top and then quickly jump to the right. And we need to be quick because as you can see, he just bashed it all. And that would have been the end of us until we get to the checkpoint. Keep heading to the right. Just keep heading, just keep heading, just keep heading. And then climb. And then the this is where the fourth missable achievement is. The um, uh, those in need achievement. So again, it's a very, it's one that can easily be missed. Um, but with this thing, you don't have to. Nice. So we're just going to keep jumping down. There we go. Keep sliding, 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 sliding. 
and then you again if you just want to get down quicker you can just press the a button and then press the a button again to sort of fall off and hang back on that is fine as well jump up onto the mushroom right here and then jump across now then what basically what snapler wants is just a feed so obviously we need to not get down to the floor there because that equals death <laughs> so what you need to do is actually jump up. It's what I tried to do, but, you know, I missed because I'm noobish. A noobish is not goodish. Climb up the vines, and then what we need to do, you can just see a little dead, um, another alien, human, weird, gangbang hybrid thing there. Uh, so that's all we needed to do was just get the alien thing just on the floor. And as you'll be able to see, there he goes. So now he's got his wish. The Snapler, even though the Snapler doesn't have any, uh, seemingly doesn't have any internal organs or anything like that, he still needs to feed, which is, well, that's just what happens on Planet Alpha. Oh, yeah. So, now we can just climb back down since we've beaten that bit. Is Snapler, Snapler will be back, though, because Snapler still wants to be inside us for some reason, which I'm not prepared for that, to be uh, quite honest. So, just keep on heading to the right for the time being. So I'm just giving you guys a break from my uh, delectable, seductive voice. Uh -huh -huh -huh. Uh, because there's uh, nothing really going on. We're just having a look at these uh, weird uh, ball neck giraffes, ball chin giraffes. Uh, but there is only basically one path to go for the moment. Nothing at all needing explaining. Actually, just until we get to this bit. So don't jump down, of course. Be careful. We're going to climb down the vine. Climb down the Jeremy Vine, even though nobody likes Jeremy Vine because he's an opinionated asshole, but that's fine. So be careful with this, but then you can get crushed. What you need to do is wait until the one goes up, but you don't have enough time to actually go through the, the two of them. So as you can see there, you'll just have to wait. And then as soon as he gets back up, then you can fly through. I tried twice to go through all in one run, and it didn't work. Even though, I mean, you could literally have just walked around it, but again, that is fine. <laughs> so, um, uh, watch out for the balls. You, do, you don't want big, giant dinosaur balls in your face. I assume that wouldn't be the tastiest. Unless it tastes like chicken or something. In which case, let me gobble them balls up. Wait, they, scratch that. So it's been a nice little while without enemies to worry about, isn't it? Sadly, we are back. Now, there is just one robot here, but what we need to do is get him all the way to the left-hand side, uh, where basically where we are, um, so the dinosaur can destroy him. There are actually two enemies right here. Sorry, apologies. Um, <laughs> so try not to die, which would always uh, come in handy. Um, but just wait until the robot gets to this side, and you need to distract him as much as possible until... 
the end result equals dinosaur, ball chin dinosaur, tail death. Nice. Ignore these little flying dudes. They, they Nothing's happening at all. So we can just press the X button to get into this other section of weird levelness. Um, again, there's nothing really to explain in these sections. There's only one way to go. And all we need to do is uh, get on the blocks and get ourselves up. Really not a lot of explaining to do here. Um, again, there may be sort of one or two sections that may just take you a few tries as you sort of get to grips and sort of still get used to the epic gravity jump that we used to. Um, it's okay to jump down there. You should always hit the square. If not, then just wait for it to uh, climb back up. It's lit literally fine. You can take your time on this one. Now, it probably won't be that obvious, but because the orb that we went in was uh, just directly in front of our path, this obviously is not a collectible, where, uh, um, whereas this is just part of the story. And you'll always tell the story once when uh, the colours are a bit different in the background. You've got a sort of bluey, nice feeling going on, and the other one's either red or orange, or the collectibles are sort of red, orange, whatever the hell that is. But as soon as we get up, then we can see these, like, a Disney-looking monsters. <laughs> Definitely something that Disney or Pixar Studios, at least, would create. But all we're doing is just jump to the right. I don't know if they're actually mountains with trees on them or if they are Disney monsters with, um, uh, like, monster STDs or something on them. <laughs> Honey, you might want to get that checked out. Okay. Okay. So move this pillar just to the sort of right, just as it shines right there. Um, ignore the edit there. We are going to change it to daytime. Um, because we need this ledge out 
if, if it's night time, obviously, as you can see, the ledge, we can't reach it because the ledge is all the way over to the right. So move it to daytime, jump on, and then move it to nighttime, and then we can jump up and up and up. And up and up and up and up and up here. And slide down. And move very casually and calmly to the right where nothing bad will ever happen. Where <laughs> nothing nothing bad can possibly go wrong. I'm sorry, that's the first thing that's ever gone wrong. Anyway, what we need to do now is run, run, run. This bit should be fine, but the gold bars will crush you and kill you. Now, gold bars are very delicious and can give you one hell of a night out, but we're not after those kind of gold bars. This is one that will just crush and kill you without no remorse, because as it is, it is just a bar. It doesn't have, it's incapable of feelings, etc. So, just keep on jumping to the right for now. And as soon as you step on these uh, these drawings, I can't even think of the proper name for them, that is, it sort of activates the gold bars. And that is what gets it working. Now, the smooth edge ones are the ones that move. The ones with sort of cracks and a bit of jagged edges in them, they're the ones that do not move. So that is very... It's definitely worth uh, keeping that one in mind as we progress with this particular level a little bit later on. So step on this portal, whatever I'm going to call it, and then just keep on heading up. Keep heading up to the vine right there, and then just go down. Then what we need to do then is just jump onto the gold bars, onto the left, jump down, and onto the next pad. Or oh, pad, that's that's the one. I'll just call it a pad. Not the period pad either, otherwise there'll be all red stuff in it. Yes. I'm just joking. Um, sorry, please don't hate me. Anyway, we're just going to keep on running to the right for now, very slowly. Even though we'd like to get there a bit faster, but that's fine too. And then jump up onto the vines. Now, you've got to be careful here. As you can see, there's two gold bars, so you need to be quick as soon as they are done. Then jump onto the gold bars and then jump up. You need to give yourself a good bit of momentum there to jump up to be able to grab the ledge. But it should be fine. And then that's that little section done. But we've got a few more of those gold bar delicious yum yum sections to go yet. So go ahead, step on the pad of life, change it to nighttime so the lift comes down. And oh the platform, sorry. My words get extremely mixed up, but thanks for sticking around. I'm like a DJ, like one of the world's crappiest DJs, although there doesn't seem appear to be a lot of DJs on Planet Alpha, so I'm going to take that title, and I want my DJ money, please, for uh, pressing a button and getting paid thousands of pounds for it. Yes, please. So this is another relatively easy section. You can't walk along the floor here because you uh, basically will get pushed off, so we need to jump up, climb up, and it's only um, at the end. I do fall, but the end is basically pretty fine. It's just all those gold, ball, gold bars at the bottom there. You are not <laughs> running past. So just wait until they appear at the top, and then you should be fine. Um, so as you can see, I almost balls it up there. But as long as you... Uh, you should be fine there. The ones with the sort of jaggedy edges, of course, do not move. So that makes us good. And now we can just carry on moving to the left. Hooray! Thank you. Thank you for cheering me on as I get through this wretched planet. So pressing right or left trigger will open up the door right here. And then we can just move on. <laughs> Look at you guys bowing down to me. Who put you up to this? Was it you, Steve? Ah, oh, God damn yeah, I mean, you son of a bitch, man. Anyway, that they're not actually worshipping us, which is a damn shame, because we are someone worth um, worshipping. So, this bit is the sort of trickier section of the two. So what you need to do then is wait until all the gold bars are done, and then run and jump. You need to give yourself a good run and jump there and a bit of momentum. Uh, jump on top of these gold bars right here. And then you should be okay to just crawl across this bit. Now, you'll have to do the timing quite importantly right here. Just wait until. Don't go now. I, ac I actually died at this point. So just run as soon as they're gone. And then run to the left. Run up. Like I said, wait. Look at the weird edges. Not the smooth edges. The weird edges are the ones that don't move. So if you're stuck, look out for one of the um, weirder edges. The ones that are not smooth. 
Run to the right, wait here though of course, and then just jump to the right. And then up we jump as soon as the gold bars are back down, jump on top as soon as they come back out. Oh sorry, just jump straight to the right, my bad, apologies about that. And then just keep jumping again, this one should be fine. So you can just wait and then jump, hop and a skip. Jump up to the left. And then we can jump to the right and just keep on running. I actually do die at this point uh, because of the gold bars. <laughs> as you can see, we can jump as long as the gold bars are out at the top. For some reason, that extra tiny inch uh, kills us. Uh, but we don't actually break our legs or anything when we've got, you know, a couple of inches more. Which is all good for us. So, that uh, was an important bit. It, it may seem pointless, but that does actually help to progress the story slightly. So, open up the door, and then our big snapler friend is going to uh, come and try and slap us again. What we're going to do, though, is just press the right trigger, close the door behind us, and that will get rid of the snapler. Now, actually, what it is, is the big metal boss that was trying to shoot us earlier on. Um, that's just one of his staple snapple arms. So, we just got rid of one, which is nice of us. Well done. We are super cool. All we need to do then, stay here, and this bit is going to take a couple of minutes, and it's going to shoot us up in the air. Like semen. <laughs> So the main thing to know about this planet is you don't actually have to stand on a pad to be able to change it from night to day. You can do that at literally any time, which is going to come in mega handy because, you know, running away from enemies, need lights and different plants and stuff. Yeah, definite handiness. So soon as we can then, what we're going to do is immediately not fall and die. <laughs> That's always a handy one, you know. Uh, change it to night until the uh, platform gets to the other side. This will be happening quite a bit throughout the entirety uh, of the rest of the playthrough, basically. So, as soon as we're all good, then we can just change it back to day and move on through to the other side. And once again, we will be doing the exact same thing. We'll be moving through to the other side. That is a song, right? I might just lose my head when I do that. I don't know. Possibly, but hey, you should be used to me by now. So, move it today. Move on through to the other side. Watch out for these. Now, they, they later on, they'll only move when you change it from day to night, um, which will be handy in killing enemies. But for now, just watch out for them. There's not many, of, uh, not too many of them. At this point, though, so as per, uh, actually, what we need to do is not go right here. We need to climb up this ledge, <laughs> right now. So apologies for the uh, false, more rightness. Mad that, isn't it? Right up, right up, right up. And so basically, this may be a little bit of a tricky section. So what we need to do now, we're going to head right here. The boss, big bad boss, is going to appear. Jump over his little snapler, and then just keep running to the left. 
Wait here, and as soon as he goes to attack, jump out of the way. Like now. <laughs> there we go. Move out of the way. And then what we need to do is actually change it from night to day and get this spike to kill his snapler thing. So as soon as he gets there, change it from night to day. Again, obviously using the right trigger, left trigger, and that will cut off his other snapler. So screw you, buddy. Although he does have uh, lasers in his eyes, which does not help at all. Now, stand behind this pillar for a second, because he's going to come and shoot us. As soon as he does, make a run for it. Stand behind the next pillar, and then as soon as he gets to where you are, change it from night to day, and then that should knock him out with that big spiky boy. And then what we can do, he's, he's going to knock into that. We can just roam across freely, and try not to jump down and die like I did. <laughs> he will actually just go straight through the bridge. You can get on through uh, straight to the other side. So, just showing you now where I've ended up is basically just over the other side of the bridge and down. So just in case you were wondering where the hell I was, um, or you can just jump down and get to this point as well. Yeah, why not? Anyway, why not jump to your death for the umpteenth time in this game? So we're going to climb up, vine up. He's not an enemy, but look out for the big old sperm whale. Watch out for the sperm! Oh, he's got... He's got like six things just to sperm in you with. <laughs> but be careful here. What we're going to do is j actually jump down. But I'm just showing you, in case you've got it on uh, day mode, this flower sort of will appear. Now, you're supposed to go to the right, but what we're going to actually do is just head down. And down, and down, 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 bim, 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 bim. Still a classic tune. Head to the left, and this is where the next achievement is. Uh, opposite direction. So make sure to grab this before heading on to the right. But we don't actually need to get up on the flower. We can just keep jumping to the right. It's sort of the middle path. So get ready to run then. Alien Indiana Jones style. As soon as we fall down, this rock's going to fall. And we are going to run, run as fast as you can. You can't catch me. I'm the alien from Gambrang Hybrid. Man. Alien thing. And I do realise I just call it a Gangbrang, which is more hilarious, but that's fine. Make sure to jump. And we should be okay. We can just keep continuing to the right for now, though. All these weird, scary noises mean nothing. Until we die. Then it means quite a lot. So when you get to these uh, flowers, we are going to call them flowers, just jump down here. Don't actually go up. We're just going to jump down. That is fine as it goes into back into a vagina hole. Now, on a lot of these flowers, these balls, these white balls, these orbs or whatever, are going to come and try and basically attack you. So if you ever see a white orb, just run for it. Now, we're going to need to make sure to get it into daytime right here, just in case these enemies that, uh, remember, can one-shot you. Luckily, I managed to get away with it that time. Um, but I didn't get away with it a lot this time. So we need to chuck it into the daytime, hide between these little, um, I don't know, cucumber dildo plants or whatever they are. I don't know what the hell they're growing on this planet, but I like it. Then turn it into night when the enemy goes away, and we should be okay to crackle on there. Change it to day so we can get through on to the other side. And then from this point, that's an impressive looking whale, bruh. But from this point, it's going to break and we're going to jump down. We're going to obviously jump here. And that's all we're doing then is going down on the vine. Oof, going down on Jeremy Vine. Now, if you're British, you'll realise just how disgusting that is. Going down on Tim Vine, however. <laughs> well, at least he's funny. At least it'll make you laugh when you're doing it. So 
So when we are at the bottom then, just push this all the way to the right as far as it ticked will go. Happy days, and then we can just move on to the right. And what's going to happen is some kind of whale or something, whatever the hell it is, here he comes. He's going to come and knock it out of the way for us. I'm not sure if actually being stood there will actually kill us. I'm pretty sure he doesn't, but, you know, you can never be too safe, even though you've already died a million times. I actually messed that part up. Um, <laughs> you were so I didn't get a good enough jump. There we go. So that is what you're supposed to do. You're supposed to jump back to the left and get it so we can move under it, but I didn't get a good enough jump, so I almost ballsed it up there. So congratulations to me. So it's going to fall anyway, so we're just going to keep on jumping. And there we go. And then we should have enough to... Go back up on the vine. Oof, i got to stop saying that. British people will be sick. And we can happily jump across once more. So be careful here. Try not to do the old uh, suicide jump off the cliff there. I can go a pretty fair, fair distance, but, you know, not too far. An inch above would have killed us, apparently. Um, but we are going to be doing that easy puzzle where we have to press the right right slash left trigger as you can see we need to find uh, one with three stars and then one with two so there's the first two make sure it goes all the way around in the circle then find the next three make sure that goes around in the circle and that tiny little puzzle ball sack is done so from here we're going to be grabbing another collectible or doing one of those little collectible levels so jump down here don't go to the right we're going to jump down head to the left jump down here and there is the next orb level for us to do. So at the end of this, you should get the second out of four collectibles in the game. And once again, it is just like the rest of the levels. All we need to do is climb up. Um, this one is a bit different, mind. Um, we can get trampled on to death, which is always nice. So again, really not too much to say here. Um, obviously, just keep on following along with the video. Uh, you know, it's, I mean, it's easy enough to sort of to get when you know what you're doing. Uh, may, you, you may die a couple of times, as you probably have quite a lot by now. Uh, but it is literally just a case of walking on the blocks and just moving forward, so... Good luck, soldier. I believe in you. And finally then, when we get our little uh, alien gangbang related self out of there then, we can climb up. We're going to the right, but we are going to be getting another missable achievement, so don't run, don't go too nuts yet, don't celebrate just yet. Instead of going to the right um, for this next jump, what we're going to do is actually head down. So head down here, keep going to the right just to touch, and then you're going to head down right here. So this one is extremely easily missable, as you can see, because it's all in the clouds and in the way and stiff. But we're just going to keep floating down, floating down, down to Alabama. Probably not the best. So we're going to turn it into night so we can get one of these big flowery boys up. And we're going to be chased by little balls of stupid um, crap. I was going to say something else, but I can't think of nothing right now. So as long as we jump in, we are still okay to go. So we're just going to keep jumping to the right for now. Keep it all going down. Go for a good slide. And remember, obviously, to jump. And then jumpy. And off and off and slide and obviously jump. So, you know, you, you should be pretty used to how the game, game mechanics work by now. And if you don't, then... Well, I'll see you in about 12 hours. Now, as you can see then, those flowers only come out at night as well. So, you've got to jump right at the very end there. And it gives you such a hell of a boost. It is kind of like potentially doing things in a night out that maybe you're not supposed to do boost-wise. You know, like, I don't know, 
sticking your own finger up your bum while you're ordering a drink at the bar. Now, we know we're not supposed to do that, but for some reason people do it anyway. Oh, well, that's unlucky. Now, from here, turn it to daytime. I actually do it wrong here. If you turn it to daytime, there's going to be flowers that sprout up there, and you're supposed to continue heading on to the right. Um, what I did was not do that, and obviously get killed right here. So that is why... But obviously I left that clip in because of the explosion and stuff in the background, which was very, very cute. But this is what you're actually supposed to do. So my apologies about that then, guys. I think I, I was too distracted by big blobs and big blobs wrecking ships in the background, which is always <laughs> just super funny. Not always super funny, mind. What you're supposed to do there is jump as well. Um, <laughs> I kept... <laughs> yeah, so... Uh, on those flowers, though, it can be potentially tricky because they fall very quickly as you're walking on them. But, you know, it's all good, as you can see there. So, you, it's still not too bad. But we're going to turn ourselves into night. And we're going to get one of those momentum flowers to give us a cheeky little finger up the bum boost. That always helps. Not me, personally. Not 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 totally into the uh, whole bum fingering at a bar kind of thing. No, not really. Anyway, turn it back in the day, we're going to be climbing up the vine. What the hell am I on about now? Anyway, climb up the vine. And we're going to have some more enemies to deal with coming up shortly. But for now, a couple of them have been destroyed, which comes in mega handy for us. So again, we're going to turn it into night, just so we can get this uh, platform down. Which will enable us to get this diamond rock across. <laughs> So after we've done that bit then, and we've got ourselves up, yeah, what we're going to do is turn ourselves in tonight, we're going to get the little uh, bum finger in momentum boost up, and again, and that should be that, so again, I did die there, I didn't get enough momentum, but that is fine, so you need to keep jumping as quick as you can over to the other side as well, there we go, and this is another bit which I, for some reason, kept dying on. There's always, it is always stupid and cheap deaths, and I don't know why it keeps happening. But that's fine. So we need to jump on this big old pad, and then just jump straight down. And then with this bit, of course, we need to turn it into day so we can get the platform moving again. I don't know how I managed to die there, but, you know, it's what I do. I die in stupid places. Places which you're not really supposed to end up dying, but I do anyway. Turn it into night again to make this platform move. You know, it is all fairly sort of obvious when you know what you're doing. Or if you're following a guide, then it's extremely obvious. But <laughs> there we go. Life is good. Jump onto the pad, jump onto the pad, keep going to the right, etc, etc. Uh, this bit could be potentially tricky. Stay on the vines right here and change it to night. What that's going to do is get the uh, sharpie arrow thing right here, whatever the hell that is. That's going to move it to the right, which is exactly what we need. If you touch it, you die, by the way. It's kind of like the Grim Reaper, but, you know, a lot more hardcore. We're going to jump down onto these vines right here. Don't worry about that uh, wish list Sauron trying to uh, <laughs> kill us. He's not killing us, he's killing everyone else. And uh, we're just going to wait right here, turn it back into night. And then what that is going to do, you see there's two robots just to the right of your screen? Well, basically we're going to jump on this pad, jump across, and that is going to blow them up. Lovely. So, 
that is a win-win for us. Then we're going to get the old uh, bum finger and boost over. Be careful here. If you keep going forward too much, you will fall and you will die. So, you know, just a word of warning. But, you know, by now, just like me, you've probably died enough times. Um, now, of course, what you're supposed to do here is chuck it into the daytime. Jump on the pad, slide down, jobs your nan's uncle. If that was me doing all this sliding by now, I would have either crapped my pants or spewed my pants, and that is why I am no good at a theme park. <laughs> really? Uh, anyway, we're just gonna gently fly down. To be honest, I'd be terrible on this planet. I would have generally died within the first minute. Um, but, you know, luckily I'm not an astronaut or an alien-human hybrid from the Gangbang Nebula. So, you know, it's a win-win, sort of. So, carefully climb down and head to the right. A lot of stuff going on now, but we're just gonna keep on sprinting to the right. Don't worry about these dudes. That robot... Again, might be in a random place for you, so just crouch if he spots you. And what we're going to do is uh, get this platform down. Because, of course, what that's going to do is obviously get rid of the flowers, so it gets rid of our hiding place effectively. So you need to wait until the robot's on the right-hand side. As soon as he is and the platform's down, get yourself back up. So just about he does start shooting. Luckily, we get away with it. And then you can jump to the right as soon as he goes to the left job once again is like your nan's uncle all done and in prison for some reason whatever that means that doesn't even mean anything night time again get the platform down and then daytime to spring out the what kind of look like um real bad birthing vaginas never seen one so i, I can't really tell but that's what it looks like from all the tv shows and stuff what kind of tv shows am i watching so, you need to obviously just be careful with these here. We need to get the platforms moving, obviously, but you make sure to not be standing where the lines are on every one of these platforms, the big lines anyway. Because, of course, as you'll be able to see now, as soon as you put it today, that is going to slice up exactly where the big line is. And that, on your testes, would pinch ever so slightly, like getting, your <laughs> like getting the tip caught in the zip. But a lot, about 10,000 times worse, I expect. So, there we go. So that bit's over. That's nice. So, anyway, we need to be doing some distracting and turning it from day to night here. So, we need to distract this robot to the left. And then we need to change it to day so we can get big old testy spiky boy to give him a slap across the chin. Uh, so, we missed that because he doesn't see us enough. Or he's taking a sweet-ass time walking over. As soon as we see him, just keep on swinging it back and forth. Eventually, he will start popping his way over. Uh, excuse me, buddy. I would like you to die, please. There we go. So, quickly do it. Um, I could have done that a way better way, but... You know, it, it, it doesn't matter what way it's done as long as it's done, right? As long as you're not going to prison for it. Um, as long as it's done. Just hide the body better. No, I'm just joking, of course. That's, I don't condone murder in the slightest. Anyway, shove this diamond rock down. Bam! That should get rid of that. And then we're going to do it. Uh, we will be doing a little bit of platform hopping now. As soon as it starts crumbling, jump up and run. And if you could jump better than me, that would also be handy as well. You know, try not to die and stuff. Somehow I didn't get the memo there. This time I did. <laughs> so we're good. Uh, everything's just going to keep crumbling though. So run your pants off for your life. Or you can keep your pants on, but just run for your life regardless. Finally, so we can stop crapping our pants going down the slide now. Now, be careful on these pads. Uh, don't You're going to have to basically keep jumping onto every one because they will um, basically get you to fall to your death. If you, just, you can just easily walk over the edge and fall to your death. But it can be slightly confusing 
as to when to start heading down. Uh, so just keep going to the right there. You'll see the uh, pads there on the left that we can now jump down to. Jump down to the next one. Literally, if you fall off any of these, then you've met your maker, basically. The amount of times I had to restart that bit was <laughs> really annoying. Uh, so just keep jumping on the, on every uh, leaf or lily pad. Now, are these trees and leaves really big? Or are they just normal size, but we're really small? Or I don't know. Anyway, keep heading down to the left. For some reason, that doesn't kill you, but falling one meter off a leaf will. So you know, bear that in mind. So head down, obviously we're going to our favourite place, the right. So this thing has got <laughs> the main boss there having a bit of trouble, uh, he's just released off those. Now this is a very important bit, what we need to do, uh, we, this is a missable achievement coming up by the way. So we need to obviously uh, go into night time now, get these things down, now make sure that you actually reach this jump. If you end up missing this jump, it'll auto save and you'll have to actually just replay the chapter again to get to this point so make sure that you get to this jump if you want to get the achievement now like I said if you do miss the jump it auto saves and you're kind of screwed and you'll just have to replay the chapter again up to this point so that's just one one important thing to note of the game where something can be extremely missable and then extremely annoying now this thing is just shoots out <laughs> Gas grenades kind of looks, kind of looks like uh, you know, a bit of STD with diarrhea or something. But anyway, we're going to grab the log to the left. That it's on a bit of an angle, um, and then it should shoot down the wall for us, which is beautiful. Please ignore my STD diarrhea there. It's uh, that's for an <laughs> that's for another day. So what we need to do now, every time you see these flying bugs, remember from the second one that can kill you with one shot, you need to turn it into daytime so they get distracted by the, is that supposed to be a strawberry or something in the background? Anyway, anytime you see the, these enemies, turn it to daytime and they'll get distracted and we can head up. As soon as you do that though, head up there, jump back down and go into the right because we've got this, uh, we've got the uh, w <laughs> wish type Sauron. I mean, he looks pretty pretty hardcore as well, you know, he's got a laser that can shoot you in one hit, I suppose, but still, sour on sour on, bruh. As soon as he goes past, we can just jump on through, head back up. There's nothing to the right, we're just going to be uh, turning it back into daytime and heading up for the time being. So when we jump down, don't go too far to the right. Um, there is one of those uh, Wish Saurons that are going to be patrolling the area. So you're going to go straight in front of you, so make sure not to go too far. There we go, so that should be fine. Now what we're going to do is just jump down happily and steadily without breaking any bones, because we're that good. And then we're going to change it into night, and we're going to get one of those uh, STD diarrhea things just popping out. What we need to do is just wait for it until the tree starts falling like so, and then run yeah, little nuts off to the right. As soon as we get down, as soon as we get down off this sort of cliff edge, as soon as it pushes that out of the way, go to the left so it does not crush us. That is usually pretty good, unless, you know, that's your kink and you don't mind being crushed. But then you're not alive to enjoy the kink, so, you know, it's a double-edged sword, really. So, just continue climbing and going to the right for a sec. Now, I'm not too sure the proper way to get past this point. I think what we're supposed to do is turn it into night to be able to distract the robot right here. I end up completely ballsing that up there by missing the jump, which is rather silly of me. So we're just going to head back up. So as you can see, I'm getting, I'm almost getting my ass handed to me right here. There we go. Now, that is what we were supposed to do, was to get the... Uh, 
STD thing to shoot. I don't know why I'm calling it an STD thing, but that is what is happening now. Anyway, robot's distracted. We are moving on. Make sure to crouch here. Um, <laughs> it should be fine, as you can see. Thank you. Thank you, Sauron from Wish. That is still very impressive. But what we're going to be doing is following him. Obviously, do not get ahead, because that means you die. And then as soon as we can, we're going to jump up on the vines, and all is good. Oh, so more distraction techniques needed. Literally, if we had somebody, surely somebody's got a gun on here. We could have just literally killed everyone by now. But since we haven't, we're going to have to do it the hard way. So obviously what we need to do then is turn it into night. Make sure these two enemies are looking away. Like so. And then as soon as we can, as soon as they're looking away, just make sure to get the uh, ass grenade out. Or <laughs> whatever the hell that is. You actually need to wait until it goes red and then it shoots and then the enemies will pop off then. <laughs> what the hell kind of scream is that? Haha. Uh Haha, -huh. <laughs> you gone die. Not us today, baby. So when we get here then, we need to turn it into night. Um, because they're already distracted by one berry, we need to turn it into night, get the ass grenade to shoot us, and then quickly uh, put it back to day. And that will shield us, they'll be distracted, and then they'll be like, Oh look, another strawberry. How delicious, even though we were just looking at one. You know, because that's how stupid uh, some bugs can be. Anyway, that bit's easy enough. Now we are going to be... Let's say chased. And let's say uh, almost trying to get shot at here. But we're going to wait. We're going to wait until this... Like, I don't know why the dino couldn't have just helped us out there. But that's fine. So as soon as that one's gone, we can just keep on running to the right. Make sure to jump. Get on the vine. But make sure to wait here because there is a robot. And you need to wait until he is looking the other side. There we go. And just wait in the bushes right here. Because he will, he'll literally shoot your ass in two shots. And I don't want to be shot, especially let alone being in the ass. Because that, once again, I just assume it'll hurt. I don't know if anyone's actually been shot in the ass, but let me know. <laughs> let me know. So, what we're going to do then, these, I mean, these puzzles and stealth sections may seem a little tricky at first. But it, it, it does become very apparent and obvious. What we need to do then, as soon as he turns around, jump down and then get these flower things back up so we can hide behind it and then just keep waiting he will look at you he can look at you and he will shoot you so stop when he looks wait till he turns around and then that's enough then to get that over to the other side and climb up on the vine Fresh air. Being out of that dense jungle forest is just really, well, it's goddamn delicious. Look, we got some of those Disney Pixar monsters in the background there. Don't go too far here. As soon as you see a red light, we're going to have to turn around. Because we've got Wish List Sauron appearing. There he is. So just head back. You should be okay uh, to stand exactly here. And then boom, boom, pow! He got messed up, yow! That's unlucky, but thank you, Mr. Sperm Whale, with six tentacle things. Much appreciated, bud. So, with that impressive explosion there, what we're going to do is jump on this leaf, jump to the vine, we're actually going for the next 
collectible. So we're going to jump down here. And then there's going to be an orb for us to nip into. It's the same thing. Obviously the levels, again, probably just a little bit. They are just a little bit longer. Um, but once again, enjoy the gravitational pull of my love for you. And the fact you can jump. Mainly the love thing though. So there is Artifact 3 out of 4, now the fourth one will come pretty much towards the end of the game. Uh, you should be okay to jump down there, you'll land on a leaf and then carry on. Uh, if you do die, you just literally restart back uh, where the last Artifact was, obviously. Because no doubt we've all died a, play a bunch of times in this game so far. So yeah, don't worry about Artifact 4 out of 4, that will come very much towards the end of the game. Uh, so what we're doing for now then... We're obviously doing the whole thing. Uh, we we had to do that. We broke. We just broke through some concrete or some some thing. Uh, we're going to be using the distraction technique now. So there you go. Use the distraction technique, and that's going to get rid of all these uh, genital warts on the wall here. You just shot me in my head, you testicle. Anyway, do not jump down. Do not jump down onto the ground here. You'll die immediately. What you need to do is uh, jump on the pad and obviously raise them up and get to the other side. As you can see, um, red genital wart looking things, always dangerous. Never go near anything that has genital warts, especially in your mouth. Blech. Anyway. So what we meant to do here is these are a bunch of skulls and everything. That's going to keep shooting grenades, ash grenades at us. So we just need to basically hit one and get it to the <laughs> warts there that were blocking the way. And I only managed to get the final swing when I've already destroyed everything. So that basically sums up my life. I get it perfect after everyone else has done all the good things. Toidy, mate. Toidy. So get yourself up to day and do the normal thing. Head to the right. <gasps> How maddening. So we're coming up to another missable achievement. It's pretty much unmissable, I don't think. We're going to jump down here and go straight to the left. Um, I think it can be missable because you can actually go to the right and hide under the uh, piece of wood on the right as well. So just make sure you go to the left and grab that achievement there before moving on. And then we're going to grab this. Uh, <laughs> we've got an ash grenade on a log and that is going to come in extreme handiness right here. You know why. 
so we need to basically get it at an angle again and then obviously we need to jump up actually on top but we need to get it at such an angle that it destroys the old warts of life but of course you've got to be looking out for the uh, saurons from wish as well uh, the one on the left should be fine but it is the one on the right that uh, you just need to be careful of that is all so just wait for old warts to explode i bet that cost a pretty penny 80 pounds or something i bet for um <laughs> maybe 100 i don't know I've never had genital water either, so I've been quite good in my life. So we should be good to go now. As soon as Wishless Sauron goes away, we... Uh, when he does go away, he shouldn't bother us now. But we are going to get Big Boss coming to destroy us. So stand behind this boulder here. As soon as he stops shooting the second time. Now we're going to make a break for it. Stop here. As soon as he stops shooting, jump up again. And then we're just going to hide behind. Don't go too far ahead. As soon as he stops shooting, run to the right and just drop down. And that ends that little bit there. What have we done to this son of a bitch? God damn you. Oh, we want us to get home. God, I miss my human alien gangbanging, bro. I just need to get home. So, where the hell are we now? That's a very good question. We're in what seems like the depths of hell. With moths and shit. So as it turns out then we're just coming up to a factory now you press the x button when you see one of these uh, lights one of these switches that will get uh, open the door up for us and you can close the door if you want but it literally doesn't make any difference to us at this point so yes we are coming up to a factory section now you probably wonder it's just mad that i suppose you need a factory on on every single planet there ever is but do you think you get robots you know like british especially british people in factories and the the ones that hardly don't talk to each other, but they go, living the dream. <laughs> you know, those uh, types of hilariously pathetic jokes, which I make all the time. Um, so, <laughs> they look at each other, not up for it today. Oh, living the dream. Hey, so funny. So anyway, don't worry about this robot. Stand right here, though. Don't go too far up the top, because uh, this robot can actually see you. You need to wait until he starts walking up towards the top of the screen. And then what you need to do is just press that button, the same one I did there. As soon as he gets distracted by the fan, go over to the right and grab this box of things. And then you'll be able to jump on top and jump up to the right. Cheesy, easy, lemon bow beasy. So for a lot of the time at the moment then we are just we're just going to be running on top of all the robots uh, push this button in right here and then jump up jump to the right hand side and then jump on here that's going to distract the robots now there's another switch as you can see on the right hand side what we're going to do is do some damage press it as soon as you jump down that kills them you are a badass badass of sorts anyway press this button here we're going down the elevator we're going down 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 i do keep singing that song because it is super cute and i like it and i don't care if it makes me sound old anyway we're just chilling out for now now these hanging bits of things we're going to be using that to our advantage getting past certain enemies etc um we got some nice delicious hybrids there we got what looks like a devil goat genie and a robot and that looks like a goat person with boobs. Anyway, I don't know what's happening. So just hide behind here. Just make sure that the robot can't see you. I actually got lucky with that. Sometimes he'll see you quicker than that. So obviously just be careful right there. I didn't even expect him to be there, to be honest. So that's why I got lucky with that. But I'm going to crouch down. Wait until this robot is turned around before moving the locker down right there. 
because he actually killed me. That was something else that I missed as well. Uh, but basically, these robots here, they're basically going to just do... They're going to do a pattern of right to left. So you, you can hide behind what we are now. Uh, he won't actually see you. The things with, I don't know, like stones or rocks in them or something. But we're going to be dragging this all the way to the right. And there is a reason for that. So just hide behind here until that robot starts buggering off. And just put it over the fire. And apparently, that is all you need to get past. Happy days. So, wait till this robot can go and fudge his mama. And then we can drag this one all the way to the left as well. Uh, not all the way, just a little bit. Just enough so that we can jump up on this pipe right here. And go to the right. Rip. Because a, a factory in a game wouldn't be a factory level in a game if we didn't have uh, these runner belt, conveyor belt sections, would they? So we need to jump up on this rock right here. And then we need to jump actually up onto this pipe before we get the ultimate Sauron upgrade there. Destroying us and frying us. But, like I said, somehow they don't realise that we're on top of them. Which is kind of rapey when you think about it. Anyway, we're just going to jump down. And we're going to keep jumping. You ain't going to be running on this bit. Try and avoid all the green balls there as well. Especially the blue ones. Because you don't want that in your face. And then just keep on jumping. Keep on jumping. And then we can hit the ladder. You know, very... It, all these sections and all these puzzles are genuinely easy enough. But, again, cheap deaths and annoyance can get in the way. Wait until the fire dies out. Jump. And it's, again, pretty obvious with the timing and everything. So as soon as it stops firing, you are free as a nugget head to go. Now this is the bit that I was talking about with these hanging swingy things then. There are going to be a, quite a few more robots in just a second. So we need to wait until one drops down. There we go. We can now drop down. And then try and sort of go along with the speed. If they do catch you, you can just hide, you know, make sure you hide behind it very quickly. Um, so they can, you know, they obviously forget that you're there. Metal Gear Solid in the early series style. <laughs> Me jumping is just as good as, you know, a condom machine in the Vatican. It's pretty pointless and useless. Anyway, there we go. Wait until the fire dies out <laughs> and then we're good to go. We're going to be doing some more of this um, hiding behind these, except it's the other way now. So this bit can get, as you can see, you almost see me, but I got lucky with that. This bit can be a little bit more annoying, but you should be able to just run and hide. Run and hide to the other side. So when we jump off the elevator, there's going to be a little hole just underneath it that we're going to be going into. So basically, if you keep going to the right, there's a whole bunch of robots there, and it ain't going to end pretty. And the fact you can't actually get past because there's laser beams there. So that is also a massive plus. Uh, so what we need to do then, don't just keep sprint, don't, do not just sprint off, look. You need to, the, these robots get distracted here, and they're going to have a little walk around as soon as they start walking. Back to the left side of the screen. That is our cue to exit, buddy. So, you figured out how to open the door yet? Yes, press the X button and then it opens. Uh, but what we're going to do, we're actually going to stay on top of this door. Press the button on the right-hand side, obviously, to close it. Jump back on the door. And then we're going to jump to the right on top of these pipes before the door crushes us. Now that would definitely... Oh, imagine being crushed like a crushed can. Your whole spinal cords just collapse and... Ugh, that would nip a bit, I expect. But we wouldn't be alive to feel the pain anymore anyway. So it's a win-win. So this bit. Look at that hybrid piece of crap in the background. He's actually going to come in incredible favour for us. So we're going to stay on top of this ladder right now. Wait for this robot because he does turn around like that. As soon as he starts going to the left, quickly jump down to the left. Don't worry, he can't hear you. Quickly press the button. You've got to wait until the circle... Hold, hold and press X until the circle goes all around. And then jump back up to the left. Now we're going to be climbing the same pipes again. But we're just going to be going back to the left this time. 
So the robot is basically, you could probably jump down right now, a little bit earlier, but you know, it's all good. So jump down to the other side, and that is that then. So now we can just run to the very other side. What we've done is just release the angriest looking son of a bitch on this planet. And is that a woman on the time of the month? Oh, sorry. <laughs> I'm so sorry. It's probably just a man because we are all miserable like that. Just for no reason. See, I saved it. I'm still sorry. So just watch this cutscene for a minute or so. You don't have to literally do anything. Just make sure you're standing where I am on the right-hand side. So there we go then, thank you for not eating us by the way, I, I do appreciate it because wouldn't you be pissed off to get this far just to die? You know, every video game developer and publisher ever stop killing characters off at the end of the game after a big long game? Hmm? Hmm? Stop it. So we are good for now, <laughs> anyway we're just going to keep on roaming to the right. Climb into the rocket, turn on the radio, and listen to Rocket Man. Me, 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 me. Don't actually know the words, but that is us out of there. We're drilling our way through life. Hopefully, none of those STD ass grenades are going to stick onto us with those genital warts, especially after that much drilling. Um, but that is that. So that's the factory level done, anyway. And we're not coming too far towards the end of the game now, really. We've still got about. Uh, roughly about half hour or so left, um, but that is that bit done. Nice. So we can just literally jump out straight away and keep heading to the right. No time to rest, apparently. Uh, not when there are humans and aliens that need drilling themselves. was actually a nice little bit for us there wasn't it um so what we're gonna need to be doing now is not dropping down at this point um so we need to obviously drag this a uh, little rock over so we can actually climb up but i always like that in games where you have this whole either a tough tough section or section with lots of enemies and then it's just nice and chilled uh, but what we need to do is actually run back up the rock apologies there's a robot there which the only way we get past him is to jump on these two rocks right here. If he doesn't get distracted by this one, jump onto the next one. And then jump back on the one to the left. That'll get him good, gone and proper. Go on, Ten. Go on, Roy Dead Robot. Roid Bot. Eh, that's pretty funny. And then we can be on a merry way once more. Now, as we all know, a good robot is a dead robot, especially ones that are trying to shoot us and stuff. You know, the ones that are trying to improve our daily lives are pretty good, but um, unless they start getting all rogue and start shooting us as well. Anyway, what we need to do is get him right just about here, next to this vine, sort of before the golden statue there. Hey, lady. And then what we need to do, it's uh, this one is very quick, we need to be very quick. As you can see, there's an orb we need to be going into, so we need to distract these robots. As soon as they're distracted and to the right, jump down quickly. I did not do it quickly. I got lucky with that. And then press X on the orb. And we are good to go. And it's just one of these sessions. This isn't one of the four artifacts now. This is just for level progression to get us out of another sticky situation.
So we finally get out of this orb, and then we, we're going to have a little break. You know, we're going to have a little break from enemies and stuff like that. We're just going to have a little nice little stroll through, climb up on these um, dinosaur bones and wonder what the hell happened there. But don't wonder too much because we haven't got that much time. Um, yeah, so this next section is basically just going to be another bunch of crumbling rocks. And, you know, don't die. That's my advice. Don't die. Man, I'm good at full advice. Full of good advice, I mean. So, welcome to the uh, possibly quite annoying bit. So we got two robots that are aiming at us, plus we've got Big Boy, the old big boss there, who will just basically patrol right and left, and if he obviously sees you, he kills you. Same with the robots, though, but as soon as you hide behind something, again, obviously, the robots will not uh, bother you. So what you need to do then is grab, drag this rock to the right-hand side so we can actually climb over. Stop as soon as Big Boss is coming over as well, but make sure you... Um, uh, hiding from this robot in the foreground as well because he can actually check you out and look at you as well so you need to jump up as soon as you can and then change it to night time so you should be hiding behind this rock so that's fine so big boss won't get you so the door as you can see is just above now but the robot will still um, try and get you so he's going to be looking distracted now so He's looking over there because that is where he's seen us, but of course we are still behind this rock and behind the other rock. But as soon as he turns round and Big Boss is on his left, or going to his left. Come on, piss off, man. Piss off, man. Good pleasure to be, bro. Like, not trying to die. And I'm pretty starving now as well. I've been running for a couple of hours and, you know, I'm hungry, man. So anyway, that should be that. As long as he's far enough to the left, now we can just jump up and head to the right. That bit is not too bad, but it can potentially be quite tricky and a little frustrating thanks to the two dick nose robots there in the foreground. But we are actually coming up to a missable achievement now, so Big Boss isn't going to hit us, so don't worry about that. But what we're going to do is head down. We're going to jump to the right. Uh, basically, th there's going to be one point that we're going to start climbing down. So get on the Jaggy Rock, Jaggy Rock, <laughs> Jaggy Rock, Jaggy Rock even. And now we're going to start climbing down. So jump down here and then to the right hand side. This is where the next achievement is. The old down goes the water. Down goes the water down by the bay. I got laid to Texas. No, I didn't because I've never been there. But I had a KFC today. Lyrical genius, I know, I am Kanye West. <laughs> More or less. The complete opposite, anyway. So, anyway, we've got, again, no enemies at the minute, so don't worry about Big Boss <laughs> appearing. <laughs> He's all good for the time being. We're just going to be doing some climbing. Look at that big, beautiful sphere in the background. That is what we're aiming for, actually. Well, goddamn, that was pretty goddamn pretty. So, welcome then to the, potentially the trickiest puzzle in the game. Now, what you've got to do is basically get all the arrows, as you can see, lined up. But it's a case of, when you press the um, button on the right-hand side, just by the pedestal there, that moves in one of the rings, and you can only move a certain number of rings. Like, like I said, it can be potentially tricky, but it's not too bad. It... it as soon as you um, get the arrows lined up then, just press the button again and then just move the next arrows 
um, just make sure that they're in place, that's all. Uh, but you've got to do it quite sort of perfectly, there's not a lot of room for error on this one, you've got to line them up quite well, otherwise you won't go through. So you press the button to get one of the rings out, and then obviously you jump on the pad using the right or left trigger to move the actual arrows. Now when they're all in like that, they don't actually move, so that is why you see nothing happening right there. But as soon as you press the button there by the pedestal, that is where you get the arrows to move. So again, it's not too bad, but you need to get the arrows lined up quite well. Oh my god, finally we made it. Fantastic. But now the uh, piece comes to an end. Basically, immediately, as soon as we get in here, just keep running to the right. Keep running to the right as quick as you can. Do not stop like I just did, because this happens. Death. Oh, and the fact that I just jumped like an absolute moron right there. Um, <laughs> but anyway. So, yeah, that is what's sticking under the ground. That's something else that's trying to kill us now. So, basically, we're not stopping and try and get your jumps as perfect as you can. Um, but this is what's happening. Press X to crouch. Do Did I die here? I, I definitely died here a couple of times. <laughs> and I know I did because this bit was annoying me. So, you need to jump quite early but not too late that you can't actually make it. So, that bit might just take you just a couple of attempts just to get the timing of the jumps right. Otherwise, it is as pretty normal as running away from sticky out lava from the ground. Ap apparently. you've been doing well this far but uh, drag this don't drag it all the way we just need enough just to be able to jump up on top of it and jump down you know so you don't get uh, your ass boiled alive by lava now again these are particularly uh, unhelpful time jumps that one may take you again a couple of tries uh, but that's it that was it for basically the majority we are coming up towards the end of this section now which is nice Run, Forest! Run! Oh, I'm trying not to die! Don't die, Forest! Don't die! No, this bit's easy enough. Just, you know, don't fall in the lava as per. And this is where we end it. Finally! Delicious. So now we start actually going down inside the lava, but we are protected by a couple of white lines. So we won't burn. And that's all you need. If you ever go into a lava pit, just draw some white lines around you, and there you go. Top advice there from me again. Hmm. So, we've gone from hectic lava, then we are now going into the calming, soothing oceans of Planet Alpha. Or, I don't know, it kind of seems like water slash ice level or something. But, it's a lot calmer, it's a lot less hectic, 
And for now, we're just going to enjoy ourselves. But there are plenty, once again, of course, opportunities to die. So, you know, just keep your eyes open. Don't fall off cliffs. And try to avoid enemies. Is Which you've been doing by now. Again, if you haven't got the premise of the game by now, you're probably not this far into the video. So we are coming up to now the final missable achievement, finally. All we need to do is just go down here, don't go all the way, go about halfway and then jump to the right as you can see that ledge there. Now what we're going to have to do is a little bit of a, a little bit of teasing and then running away, which happens to me on a daily basis. So go about halfway, as soon as the rock starts falling down, run and then jump to your heart's content. And then quickly just climb up as much as you can before the rock crashes you and turns you into mush. Stewy, mushy, gangbang alien mush. Probably does not taste as nice as it does not sound anyway. So wait until all the crash and banging and stop and go back on that very same ledge and start heading up. And then what with that is where we're going to finally get the final missable achievement. The, f the flowery, whatever the hell it is, uh, achievement for lost in the dank. There we go, so I'm going to get that. I actually die there as well, so don't <laughs> don't go all the way. I thought it was a dead end. As it turns out, it was not. But if you do die, we're also going to get the altogether achievement as well. Uh, but if you end up dying very stupidly like I did there, you'll just have to do that bit again with the rock, um, which is a tad annoying, but <laughs> that is what happens. So if you can try not to die there, that would come in very handy. Um, but I'll, try, <laughs> I'll just show you again anyway. I, it baffled the crap out of me for a while because I thought, what have I done wrong? So if you do die, for whatever reason, you'll just have to do this tiny bit again. But of course, the collectible's already collected, so that's fine. But you've, got a, the, oh, you've already got the achievement anyway. So there we go. We'll just wait for a rock to smashy smash smash and the, everything else to stop falling. And especially for this bit as well, don't just jump down because you will die again. So you need to just climb all the way down, nice and steadily. And there we go, because I died three times. Honestly, I died three times, very stupidly, thinking that it wasn't that far down when it was. So there's that bit done. Nice. But as soon as we jump down here, we're going to go to the right, and then we're going to need to immediately go to the left, as you can see there. We've got one of those uh, Sauron from Wish uh, trying to uh, catch us there. As soon as, you see, as soon as he goes, go to the right because that one is going to try and get you as well. So, uh, for this part then, we're just going to run to the right, climb down, and then run to the left a little bit. Now then, what uh, this part is, is kind of slow, but we cannot get past these without a little bit of help. Now, this little bit of help comes from, as you can see in the background, it, it kind of looks like a jellyfish, I suppose. Uh, but if we head down to the right, we're going to need, he's basically going to follow us and help us out. Even though we haven't done anything for him, but some animals are just nice and they try not to kill us. So, you know, kudos to you, like... Um, but basically what we need, we need, he's very slow, uh, but we do need his light, because that is the only way to get past these weird things. Now this may seem a bit pointless to come down here, but it is actually worth everything. So you need to just move this rock out the way, and another one of these jellyfish things is just going to start poking out. There he goes, so he's going to start poking out. 
and that basically just helps us out a little bit. Now, I actually missed that the first time, the first time playing the throw. I didn't realise he put, poked his head out of the hole like a baby being born. So I was going to edit this part out because I thought, oh, well, that's pretty pointless until I went through it again and went, oh, all right, it's a little baby sticking his head out of a gene. Um, but we've got a lot more help now, which you'd think would actually get this done a little bit more quicker, but it actually doesn't. <laughs> it's still pretty slow. So that's fine, but we're going to head to the left now, and we're just going to have to wait a minute. This is just going to happen for a, a couple of minutes or so. Be careful when you're climbing down here now, we'll jump to the left, boom, and then we're going to jump to the right, there's going to be one diamond sticking out of the wall there, so just be careful not to, you know, die as per usual. It'll probably be fine though, because you'll only just uh, start up the top again, so that's fine. Right, this bit can be a little bit tricky, there's two of these wishlist Saurons, and they basically do the same pattern. Um, so basically when he starts chasing you like that, just run all the way down until he starts looking at the wall there and then we because we need this rock to obviously get up so as soon as we do that hide behind here so he doesn't catch you as well and hopefully that it was just that little tricky bit first so as soon as you see those lasers just start running to the right and he's going to start looking at the wall um, now again it is easy to just take a little look at the pattern see where they go in but you know sometimes it can be tricky to see where they <laughs> to see where they are and where they're just about to go sometimes. So wait until this guy nips on. Now the guy on the left should be fine now. Sauron on the left should be fine. He's just doing his same pattern. Now it's just the one that we've got to worry about. So we're just going to keep going down for now. And he's just there. So there he goes then. So we've now got a little bit of time. So we should be fine now just to be able to jump up on the rock. Jump up and head off. So it was just that first little bit, it could have been a bit tricky with the time in there, but hopefully you would have got that more or less straight away. And now it's time to run, run, forest as fast as you can. You cannot catch me, I'm the gingerbread man, yeah? Or, or something or other. I'll tell you what, I bet Al's feeling pretty knackered by now. He's going through all these different types of areas in the world. And he is not slept. He's still starving. But anyway, for this bit then, this is a nice and easy bit. All we've got to do then is just wait for the light to shine from our friendly jellyfish pals. And then we can jump across. If you try to jump across, that waterfall is going to sploosh you down. And that is deadness to you. So again, we've just got to wait until he lights the way. Because there's no way to tell. Just be careful here, if you um, walk forward a bit too fast, you will actually just end up uh, falling off the ledge there. So, again, just be careful. And wait, and we wait, and we wait. Bit, potentially a little bit trickier, just with that first jump anyway, but it's not too bad. There is the waterfall right there as well, so just wait here until our friendly jellyfish pal gets rid of that for us. Because I made the mistake of just jumping. I thought, oh, what's the, what's the big deal? What can go wrong? And my ass got squished by waterfall. So that is what went wrong. <laughs> and there we go then. So that's that bit done. Right then, so now we're getting into the sticky nitty, sticky vicky kind of uh, situations here. Obviously, you're thinking, how the hell are we going to get past these guys? And friendly jellyfish is going to happen again. So soon as he lights them up, you are going to be on your way. But of course, be he is slow, so be careful not to just jump forward too much. 
Um, as it can be a potential pain in the ass. So we're going to wait here for a second because he goes around the other way because there is actually two around the way that will um, chop our testes off. And that looks like they could do it with one fell swoop. As soon as he's done, we can move on. Yeah, I wouldn't like my testes chopped off by them, I tell you. That's potential, potential pain horrific right there. Right then, so, see this, th that is actually like a belly in front of us. Don't do what i just done and nearly fall there. Um, <laughs> because you will die immediately. What we need to do is just get this, um, get this rock over just a little bit. And then we need to be doing the same thing, but you need to be careful. There is actually a machine gun. <laughs> so, jump down here, try, into a, try to avoid the machine gun. Try to not uh, jump as far from as far back as I did right there. Uh, but all we need to do is just push him over the way until we get to this gap and he destroys the uh, bit of wood for us. Uh, just push him back until he's sort of shooting up at absolutely nothing. Because, of course, being shot at or not being shot at comes in much handier than if we were being shot at. Of course, that just all makes sense, doesn't it? I am a sensible man. So, we're going to push the rock over again. Now, it may seem like it's stuck, but it's actually not. So, you can just keep uh, pushing them along. And we're actually just going to be dragging it all the way down to the right. And it's kind of like, uh, we're kind of using it as a stick. You know, we push something in a whole bunch of bees. You're not going to stick your head in here you, and stick your hand in. You're going to push something in with a stick. So that's basically what we're doing. So you need to be careful though. Just be careful here because we've got a whole bunch of things that want to bite your tits off. And there we go. So as long as you get it in the gap, that is where we're needing it. We need to get it in the gap. Which is the most important thing there. Because it's going to be shooting at this belly thing. <laughs> wow. Idiocy bar none. So again, try not to do what I've done there. But if you do die, you do end up just starting at, um, just to the left of everything. But everything would have already been done. So that's fine. So when the machine gun shoots the belly, this tail will move. Now this is another part we've got to be very careful Basically, the floor is going to collapse, and depending on where you are, you will die. So what you need to do is just take your time, and you need to try and hug the left side as much as you can. I get away with it, but you need to hug. <laughs> Somehow I get away with it, but for that point, you need to hug the left side as much as you can, as it's the, uh, you know, less distance to drop, less distance to die. Now, you shouldn't worry about this bit too much. Just follow the same path that I'm doing here. Going left, going to the right, and... Uh, nothing should absolutely kill you until we start getting to the end, which is right here. And we're just going to need to do a couple of time jumps. A couple of time jumps over some ice cubes and uh, some ice sticky-outy things, and that's all. But this is basically the end of this section. We made it! We made it! <laughs> Unfortunately, since I bet it on the other team, uh, we will be going for pizza. Sorry, sorry, Simpsons quote. Never mind. R wrong part. But we have finally made it. And you think, what have we got left? we got about 14 minutes of the video left. Um, so we've got one little puzzle left to do. Uh, we've got one little artifact left to collect as well. And that's basically the end of the game then. So... This is a, like I said, after all of the hecticness and shit that just went on, it's nice to just chill out, you know, have a good time, enjoy the beautiful colours, and maybe eat something now. Unless you literally jo just go off gangbangs, then you must be pretty starving by now. <laughs> Why has that been a recurring theme through the video? Hmm, I don't know, but anyway...
So then, for this puzzle, if you interact with this pedestal here, it basically tells you uh, what colours you have to do in order there in the background. Um, now you've got red one, you've got a green one on the left, a uh, uh, purple one or blue or whatever the hell that is. I'm not the best with colours, so I'm really not going <laughs> to try and explain it that well. What I will explain is we need to drag this piece of rock all the way over to the left hand side uh, where the crystals are. Because what we need to be doing is doing some colours on the right, then we need to actually jump over this rock right here. So, <laughs> yeah, apologies if I butcher some of the colours, and it's very funny, but my eyes are a bit um, special, shall we say, when it comes to colours. So, we know which we knows which ones we've got to do now. So, this is what we're going to do then. We're going to head to the right first. Uh, so we can get the red one. And then go to the left, where we get the green one. And then what we're going to do is climb up. So you've got the purple one right there, or whatever colour that is. We're going to climb up as far as you can go and make sure to jump over the green one. Head back to the red one. There it is. And then just go back to the green one. On the left, there that is, and that is what opens then. So it's red, green, purple, jump over green, red, green. So it's not, it wasn't too difficult, but it may have uh, taken, you know, a couple of minutes to figure out, let's see. But with that, the path opens up, and we are delectably on our way. I really hope I didn't screw those colours up too much. Actually, what we are going to do is head down um, now, because we are going to be getting... This is where the fourth artifact is, so be careful again. Obviously, just don't fly down the middle. Just take your time, go down each one, and this is where the fourth artifact is then. So all you got to do then... This level did take me a couple of, couple of attempts at certain points, but again, it's one of those that you get used to it. It's easy. Life is good, ya. Yeah. We did it! We did it! So, there is... <laughs> got to stop trying to sound like Chief Wiggum. I look like Chief Wiggum, but... Uh, oh, thankfully, I don't sound like him. But anyway, that is all four artifacts done. Of course, I'm going to be leaving descriptions in the... Um, timestamps in the description and comment box below as well. So, if you do get stuck, of course... You know, there you go. There you have it, friends. So, for the time being, then... Again, a couple of minutes left now on the video... We've done all the artifacts. The only achievement we've got left now is basically to end the game. So for now, we'll just take our time. And what's going to happen now is basically we're going to go through tiny sections of each level that we've done. So a bit of bit of the leaves and, you know, we, we were doing that earlier. A bit of the lava, a bit of the water and, and, and stuff like that. So obviously very easy sections coming up though. 
But actually what we're doing first is we're into that sphere. Remember you probably would have seen it a couple of times in the background uh, throughout the game. This big sphere that we're in. So this is where we are. So just keep pressing uh, the left stick as normal. And it's going to take about a minute or so to get to the other side. It's the longest chicken joke in the world. Right, we've made it to the other side. God damn, that chicken took us down. But do you want to do an Assassin's Creed leap of faith? Let's do it. <laughs> that is probably what would happen to any of us in real life if we tried a leap of faith somewhere. Uh, but this is what we're doing now. We're sinking through to the water. We're actually sinking through to lava. Bikini bottom SpongeBob SquarePants style, which obviously makes sense. Uh, so... Because the water's above us for some reason, we've just got lava. I suppose, does that happen? Is that is that an earth thing? Does that happen? I, who knows? All I know is we are coming up and we're going to be chased by the boss and then the game is going to end. So that was what makes me happy. So it's the same sort of thing. Um, we're going to be sliding a bit. We're going to be jumping over fire a bit. We're going to be doing a little bit more platforming. And we're going to be doing a lot of changing from night to day as well to get those momentum boosts. Uh, so yeah, nothing really. There we go. Just jump. That that was my uh, make sure you jump noise then. See, works every time, right? Uh, so here we go then. So obviously you're gonna need, gonna need to change it to night now so you can get that cheeky momentum boost. So here you need to make sure to change it into daytime because we uh, need to jump on a bunch of flowers here. Um, I messed this part up, so make sure you just change it to day, time, and then you can jump on the flowers and jump across. Now, I made that mistake there. It didn't cost me too much. It just cost me my uh, my genitals, I think, or my my man pecs, my alien pecs. But we're all fine, aren't we? We're all good. So we're just going to keep on running across. We are getting there now. And now <laughs> there's nothing else to do but run for your life. <laughs> run for your goddamn life, man. This guy with the laser eyes too close together to, the, to, to his head is just he's taking the piss. Um, as long as you keep on moving though, you shouldn't die at all. You should be absolutely fine. Just don't stand still because he will nut your one. Go Jerrys! Go Jerrys! No, keep running, keep running, keep sprinting, don't worry about the orbs behind you. Just jump, run and jump. Somehow this guy's got the worst aim, but he is probably half completely screwed up. Just keep running, and there we go. This happens, but we need to actually escape boss man's body. So as soon as we can, just jump to the left, crouch under, and then we need to jump to the right. Um, again, without dying is preferable, but there we go. So again, we'll crouch under, jump up to the left, jump up to the left again, and then jump to the right. And then just keep jumping up and we should be able to get out of there deliciously. Luckily, his aim is as terrible as his ability to stay alive, which is zilch right now. And that's it then. So there we go then, guys and gals. We're going to do a minute or so of um, walking. So we've run all through this, and after a tiny little bit more climbing with a couple of explosions running around, now he's got the um, 
either third, huge third leg or he's got an epic limp on. Pretty pathetic, really. Hmm? When you think about it, you died about a thousand times just now, pal. <laughs> but that's fine. So, this is the end of the game. Interpret this ending any way you want. I really, really dislike endings where the main character dies, so I'm going to say it was meant to happen, and this is our spaceship, and then we go home and live our happy life on Gangbang Human Hybrid Planet. So, there we go then. Thank God that's over with. Nope, I really do. Anyway, I do hope you enjoyed the game, guys and gals. Hope you enjoyed the guide as well, and we had a laugh. As we always do, a bit of shit long bashing in there as well. That's always good for a laugh. <laughs> Just joking. Just joking, Jitlon. Keep on doing your 20,000 uh, game score for jumping once. Honestly, it makes people happy. <laughs> but anyway, no, that is that then, guys and gals. So thank you so much for watching. Uh, like I said, hope the game. Hope you enjoyed the game. Hope the guide was very good for you as well. Don't forget, of course, to like, comment, subscribe, and share with a friend as well if you did find it very helpful. Don't forget, of course, to check me out on my socials as well. The normal Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, and a Patreonage as well. Huge big shout out to everyone on Patreon for the continued support as well. Absolutely fantastic. Legends, you guys and gals are. But that is that. So, again, thank you so much for watching. Guys and gals, I'll see you in the next one. Big love.